If you like the guy wearing the shirt, then subscribe to the channel. If you like the shirt, there's a link in the description below. Just go down there. You can order any color you want. And we got a lot of other cool stuff too. Hi, Steve here. The Book of Enoch is really an exciting book, and later on I'm going to tell you why I believe this book was removed from other scriptures, and there's no doubt in my mind why. I'll give you a little hint. Because it was written for our generation, and Satan does not want people to have this knowledge. Let's get into the Book of Enoch now, starting in chapter 52. And after those days in that place where I had seen all the visions of that which is hidden, for I had been carried off in a whirlwind, and they had taken me towards the west, there my eyes saw all the secret things of heaven that shall be, a mountain of iron, a mountain of copper, and a mountain of silver, and a mountain of gold, a mountain of soft metal, and a mountain of lead. And I asked the angel who went with me, saying, What are these things that I've seen in secret? And he said, All these things which you have seen will serve the dominion of his anointed, that he may be potent and mighty on the earth. And that angel of peace answered, saying to me, Wait a little, and there will be revealed to you all the secret things which surround the Lord of spirits. And these mountains which your eyes have seen, the mountain of iron, the mountain of copper, the mountain of silver, the mountain of gold, and the mountain of soft metal, and the mountain of lead, all these will be in the presence of the elect one as wax before the fire. And like the water which streams down from above upon these mountains, and they shall become powerless before his feet. And it shall come to pass in those days that none shall be saved, either by gold or by silver, and none will be able to escape. Isaiah 52.3 says, For thus says God Almighty, You were sold for nothing, and you will be redeemed without money. And there shall be no iron for war, nor shall one clothe oneself with a breastplate. Bronze shall be of no service, and tin shall be of no service, and shall not be esteemed, and lead shall not be desired, and all these things shall be denied and destroyed from the surface of the earth, when the elect one shall appear before the face of the Lord of Spirits. You see the last phrase here in verse 9? And these things will be denied and destroyed from the surface of the earth when the elect one, talking about the Christ, the Messiah, will appear before the face of the Lord of Spirits, who is none other than Father God. Chapter 53. There my eyes saw a deep valley with open mouths, and all who dwell on the earth and sea and islands shall bring to him gifts and presents and tokens of homage. But that deep valley shall not become full. Zechariah 14, 16 talks about the nations worshiping the king. And it shall come to pass that everyone who is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall go up from year to year to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. Revelation chapter 21, verses 25 and 26 say the same thing. Its gates will never close. They stay open all day because night will not exist there. And the honor and splendor of the nations will be brought into it. Enoch 53. Let's go on. And their hands commit lawless deeds, and the sinners devour all whom they lawlessly oppress. Yet the sinners shall be destroyed before the face of the Lord of Spirits, and they shall be banished from off the face of his earth. And they shall perish forever and ever. For I saw all the angels of punishment abiding there, and preparing all the instruments of Satan. And I asked the angel of peace who went with me, For whom are they preparing these instruments? And he said, they prepare these for the kings and the mighty of this earth, that they may thereby be destroyed. Isaiah 14, 9 says, Hell from beneath is excited about you to meet you at your coming. It stirs up the dead for you. All the chief ones of the earth it has raised up from their thrones. All the kings of the nations. Guess where else we read about the kings and the mighty of the earth at this time? Revelation chapter 6, 15 through 17. And the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the commanders, the mighty men, every slave and every free man hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us 
from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand? And after this, the righteous and elect one shall cause the house of his congregation to appear. Henceforth, they shall be no more hindered in the name of the Lord of Spirits. And these mountains shall not stand as the earth before his righteousness, but the hills shall be as a fountain of water, and the righteous shall have rest from the oppression of sinners. It says the exact same thing in Psalms 97.5 and Micah 1.4. Psalms 97.5, the mountains melt like wax at the presence of Adonai, at the presence of the Lord of all the earth. Micah, beneath him the mountains will melt, the valleys split open like wax before fire, like water poured down a steep slope. Daniel 7.22, judgment was given in favor of the holy ones of the Most High, and the time came for the holy ones to take over the kingdom, just like it says in Enoch 53.7. And the righteous shall have rest from the oppression of sinners. The day is coming, and it's not far off anymore, where God will put down all unrighteousness and evil in this world. He will judge them, and those who receive Christ as their Savior and live for Him while on this earth will see the favor of God. Chapter 54, verse 1. And I looked and turned to another part of the earth and saw there a deep valley with burning fire, and they brought the kings and the mighty and began to cast them into this deep valley. In Isaiah 14, 9-17, we see here the real truth about Satan and about how deceptive he was while on this earth, causing men and women to go after the things of this world and follow him and reject the only way of salvation they ever had. Verse 9, Hell from beneath is excited about you to meet you at your coming. It stirs up the dead for you, all the chief ones of the earth. It has raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. They all shall speak and say to you, Have you also become as weak as we? Have you become like us? Your pomp is brought down to hell, and the sound of your stringed instruments? The maggot is spread under you, and worms cover you. In the next verses, we see the picture of how he fell originally and how unmerciful he is when it comes to men and capturing them as prisoners, never to let them go. How you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut down to the ground, you who weakened the nations. For you said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet you shall be brought down to Sheol, to the lowest depths of the pit. Those who see you will gaze at you and consider you, saying, Is this the man who made the earth tremble, who shook the kingdoms? who made the world as a wilderness and destroyed its cities, who did not open the house of his prisoners. In the very end, we see the end of Satan and how he is mocked by those who are there in hell with him. And there my eyes saw how they made these instruments, iron chains of immeasurable weight. And I asked the angel of peace who went with me saying, for whom are these chains being prepared? And he said, these are being prepared for the hosts of Azazel, so that they may take them and cast them into the abyss of complete condemnation, and they shall cover their jaws with rough stones, as the Lord of Spirits commanded. Peter talks about these angels awaiting judgment in hell. 2 Peter 2, 4, For if God did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into the chains of darkness to be reserved for judgment, and then verse 6 in the book of Enoch, And Michael, and Gabriel, and Raphael, and Phanuel shall take hold of them on that great day, and cast them on that day into the burning furnace, that the Lord of spirits may take vengeance on them for their unrighteousness in becoming subject to Satan, and leading astray those who dwell on the earth. And in those days shall punishment come from the Lord of spirits, and he will open all the chambers of waters which are above the heavens, and of the fountains which are beneath the earth. And all the waters shall be joined with the waters, that which is above the heavens 
is the masculine, and the water which is beneath the earth is the feminine, and they shall destroy all who dwell on the earth and those who dwell under the ends of the heaven. And when they have recognized their unrighteousness, which they have wrought on the earth, then by these they will perish. These last verses in chapter 54 of the book of Enoch clearly mark out the future flood that was going to happen. The next chapters in the book of Enoch talk about the rainbow as the final time God would never, ever flood the earth again. And then the book of Enoch talks about the battle of Armageddon. I believe in these next chapters we'll get into in the book of Enoch are going to reveal some things that are just about to happen in real time on this earth. I think many people are confused about the battle of Armageddon and the actual final battle when Jesus Christ comes back to wage war against Satan and all those people that they've gathered together. There are two separate events, and one of them is almost here. If you're one of those people who still don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, that he is the Savior of the world, you better reevaluate based on the Bible and the truth of the prophecies that are already coming to pass and already have come to pass. Don't stay ignorant. Don't stay complacent with your eternal soul. This world is not your friend, and Satan will destroy you if you give him permission. Think about it. Hi, Steve here. I just want to briefly say one thing about this effort to really stifle free speech, especially conservative views, Christian views, and patriot views. Um, I'm not the biggest patriot. I love my country, and I love America because I was born here, and I, I really love the freedoms that we enjoy. But the efforts by the globalists, the leftists, the communists is really, really reaching a fever pitch. And what I don't want to happen is I don't want you to not know where to find me. Once they take my channel off YouTube, once they stop me from posting on Twitter or Facebook, in fact, let me mention two sites. One is gab.ai, G-A-B.ai. And that's one site where it's almost like a Twitter replacement. And I'm using it right now. And also there's minds.com, that's minds.com. And that's one you can use as a replacement for Facebook. So I recommend getting on there. I'm using both of those platforms right now and I will probably end up moving completely off Twitter and Facebook because of their censorship and they're just utter, you know, dislike of anybody who has another view other than the New World Order, the globalist view, the One World Government. So I encourage you to get on those websites, but I also want to say how much I appreciate all of you so much for your support. Your financial support allows me to continue to make the videos, to continue to get the truth out, and I won't stop even if they shut me down. And I just want to mention that if that day comes very soon, and it could, I just want you to go to my website at thinkaboutit.online or thinkaboutit.news. Either one of those sites I plan on keeping up and I will also post information on how you can find the videos. I don't know right now what platform I'll use. I know that Mike Adams is starting up or planning on starting up a brand new video channel and I will probably use that platform. So anyway, stay tuned, but keep in touch with me through the website. I don't send out emails, I don't spam people, so I just want you to know that if there's ever a time when you can't find my videos or you can't find my channel on YouTube anymore, please go to the websites and find out where I'm at or where I will be very soon. Thanks again, all of my supporters. I really love you and I really appreciate you. And thanks for your financial gifts. If you're not able to give, just spread the videos. Please just send the links out, spread the, send the videos out to everyone you can. Thanks so much. I appreciate every one of you.